working beside my wife, you know, on a daily basis is really awesome. I wouldn't have anybody else there with me, really. It didn't take very long for us to find our groove and work together to just be able to build off of each other's strengths and, and just seeing how much hard work goes into that to make things happen the way you want them to in a timeline that is acceptable. We don't really hire hardly any outside help. You know, it's kind of fun doing it as a family. It's just nice being a family farm. I, I remember when our son was basically old enough to kind of figure out what a tractor was. In fact, his first word was tractor. But I remember the very first time just seeing him see a tractor. He was just so excited about seeing that tractor move and, and hearing the sounds of the tractor and the mower. And you could just see him light up from that. It's really neat to be able to see, you know, from a two-year-old to now a teenager, that evolution and development and his excitement for the family business. For us, soybeans is a really big deal just because it is one of our main crops that we grow here on our farm. The soybeans are easier to manage. We can plant them faster, we can harvest them faster. That's definitely a pro. I mean, the corn just has a lot more management to it. Some of the technology we use here on our farm are definitely the genetic engineering of the seeds that we make decisions to purchase and use on our farm. All of those enhancements and genetic improvements help that seed to be more viable to us from the time it's planted into the ground to the time that we actually harvest it. The technology is there to help you every day. We have access to GPS, giving us chances to utilize our acreage to the optimum capacity. When we're uh, running through the field with a soybean planter, it will basically be dropping the right amount of seed that's for that type of soil we go through and not overpopulating or underpopulating certain areas. We have weather apps that we can use now that give us real-time data of what we're looking at ground temperature, wind speeds, all of those kinds of inputs that can help us make better decisions on when we should be planting to optimize what we are actually getting from the soybeans come harvest time. Today we're looking at tractors that have mega horsepower, they have the, the auto steer accessibility. There's a globe on the roof of the tractor, satellite signal reaches that. I just press a button and as long as I've got how I want it set up, and press that button and go. Growing that crop and then seeing it come full circle and going into our future food and our fuels to get us from place to place is pretty cool. It's great to produce a crop. You get to plant something, you get to nourish it and take care of it and watch it thrive. It's just kind of a joy to, to watch it grow. I'm proud to be an Indiana farmer. We are producers that are in the top 10 for soybean production across the country. Indiana soybeans are going around the globe to feed other parts of our world. I mean, we're a mid-sized family farm here on our operation, but in the reality, we're probably feeding 103 people from each acre. That impact doesn't fully hit me until I have that opportunity to sit down with a group of people and tell them about what we do and how we work.